Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards, that's toy-wizards.com, and I'm back for another spontaneous toy review. And today's items brought to us by Quantum Mechanics, or QMX. So big thank you to QMX for giving us something cool to check out together. And what are we looking at today? We are looking at the new Mortal Kombat classic Q-Fig dioramas of um, Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Get over here. As you guys know, the new Mortal Kombat movie is on streaming or in theaters if you have a theater near you that's open, I don't know. But since these are classic figures, we're going to just focus on them for what they are. We're not talking about the new movie. Let's start with Scorpion because Scorpion, dude, he's the coolest. Look at the box together. Fatality. Insert coin. I always loved See, there we go. Look at, there's there's the attack, there's the move. I always loved Scorpion, but I was never very good with him. I used to play a lot as Sindel and Melina and Raiden. Those were like the three Mortal Kombat characters that I was always best at, because they had the like back, back, forward <laughs> attack. And when you're a young button masher, that's good enough. These boxes have, they open and they show the toy, like the, the, an image of the Q-Fig, but we don't actually have like window packaging, so I feel that the I feel the flap is a little frivolous. <laughs> frivolous flap. Um, but it says on the top here boxes are meant to be open. We have some, you know, blood splatter because it's Mortal Kombat. Let's crack this open. And then we'll take a look at Sub Zero as well. Flawless victory. Q figs are cool. There, we have uh, we have reviewed Q figs before. I will link to that video down in the description, and you can see the Q figs that we've checked out here together on toy-wizards.com. QMX has some really cool licenses coming. Really stoked for the work they've been putting out. And there we have it. There he is. There is our spear throwing crazy. Poison Venom Psycho Man with his fire. Fire and ice. That's basically the um, dichotomy that Sub-Zero and Scorpion have become to be known for. Look at his tiny little hand throwing that spear. Adorable. No, these are cool. And I really like the price range. QMX always has about, it's about the $20 price range. Some of their more premium or larger dioramas are 30 but for the most part they're very you know affordable and these are these are viewing pieces these are shelf or desk tchotchkes um you know no articulation just is what it is and you have the opportunity for an affordable price to have a collectible of a character that you have the warm and fuzzy fondness for so that's you know that's what these accomplish and i like them i think they're they're cool it's a cool stylization Somewhat chibi, somewhat, you know, fun and young and, um, but all their own. So this is a cool style. I appreciate these. And I, I think they lend the same sort of detail and movement to all of their dioramas. So there we have it for Scorpion. There's the bottom. Q-Fig, Mortal Kombat. All the branding. Don't put them away. We gotta compare them together. I, my brain's like, clean up. We talked about this before. Clean up. Don't clean up. Yes. And now we will open Sub Zero. We have the same, very similar packaging here. Boxes are meant to be open. Do you guys think that Sub Zero was the original, like, waterbender? Should we do Sub-Zero versus Elsa? Or Sub-Zero versus Katara? I'd watch that fight. <laughs> Here we go. Here is Sub-Zero. I remember people really liking Sub-Zero a lot. When I was younger and my friends and I were all playing Mortal Kombat, I remember people being like really into Sub-Zero. And it's like, I think his reputation at the time was more like the gentle murderer. <laughs> Because, like, Scorpion had this, like, freaking spear. And he, like, talked, you know, like, get over here. And, like, Sub-Zero was more, like, quiet, calm, slow, ice. But he made ice spears, too. 
But I think there was more like magic to him. And this is this is just me, you know, this is like headcanon, like teenage crap. Not even teenage, I was playing it as a kid. What am I talking about? But I always felt like there was a gentleness in the striking to Sub Zero. He's a little more mysterious. They're both cool. I'm glad I don't hear people look they have the same face because duh. You know, they were a reskin. They're all reskins. A lot of them were reskins. I mean, how many people in this suit with reskins did we see in the game? But that's just, those were the times, man. Those were the times. So these two, I'll pose them for a versus. They have the ability to go toward each other, which is great. Otherwise, yeah. Round one, fight. There we go. Toasty. I like it. I like it. These are neat. I like the color, you know, dichotomy. We have our fire and ice. They're striking. Um, the colors complement and they work well together. I would definitely recommend getting these as a set unless you want them to just fight no one. That's cool too. A lot of movement in these. Look at the way the fabric is moving, the ruching in the pants, the dynamic pose. I really like the consideration right there in the paint on Sub-Zero because like his hand is freezing because of that ice ball that he's holding so that same ice and the colors of the ice are like starting to go up his arm and that's just a really cool small detail that I appreciate it really just breathes life into the toy and I hope that everyone appreciates that who owns this you know same with the ice on the ground right there he um, his feet are starting to like get icy or snow on them Definitely love those spears as well. Conjures up um, the whole, you know, Night King, White Walker, um, before our favorite show on Earth, you know, completely fell apart and meant nothing. What are we talking about? But yeah, definitely think these are cool pieces. And again, very affordable. I will link in the description where you can get yours. And these just came out as well. Like these are brand new products, so super, super exciting. And yeah, if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, you like these little dioramas, make sure that you get your own. And you can make them fight all day long when you're supposed to be working or whatever. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. Visit our site daily for toy news, reviews, articles, listicles, snarticles, editorials, opinion pieces. And we will see you for the next one. Keep collecting. Bye.